morning from Warner Springs. It's day 13. All right, good morning again. Uh, we were finally back out on the trail. It took us a little bit to get our resupplies and other things figured out for this next stretch, uh, leaving Warner Springs. We have about a 70 mile hike before we get to Idlewild, our next resupply. And so we had to uh, plan for that long stretch. So this will be the longest stretch that we have to go. Um, and then, but fortunately there's a, uh, a lot of water sources along the way so um, I have extra food on me which is kind of heavy but I don't have to carry a whole lot of water which is awesome because you know one one liter bottle weighs about 2.2 pounds and that uh that can definitely add a lot of load to your your backpack but anyway we're in the flat areas right now but headed towards those mountains over there so I'm sure we're gonna be climbing here shortly <laughs> This is the first time I've uh, encountered cows right next to the trail. They're busy eating. But there's some up here that are on guard paying attention to us. They look relaxed. There's a bunch over there. Ooh, you guys are stinky. Stinky cows, but you're beautiful. We just came out of that cattle pasture and there's all these beautiful yellow flowers and it looks like a big wash over on the other side of that. It's pretty. I wish the sun would come out and brighten it up and open up all the other flowers. Yeah, this wash is so wide and it's all sand. It's pretty cool. There's a little bit of water still trickling through there. I bet this was a raging river during all the rains back in February. Oh, look at this little guy. Actually, he's a big guy. You're moving so slow. Ooh, get off the path. We were joking about, what if this is supposed to be the reliable water source that runs along the trail for so long? <laughs> it's, hmm, don't know now. I hope not, cause yeah. I think that would be a double filter right there. Yeah, no thanks. Oh, check out all those trees and branches just wrapped around those columns from the floodwaters that came through here. Wow. We found this cooler walking through the woods. Let's see if there's anything left for us. Let's put out here in four or three. Ready? Yeah, let's see. Ah! <laughs> Sunscreen. Bummer. Oh well. Oh, so sad. Life goes on. I think we have enough supplies with us. We're okay. <laughs> well, beer would have been nice, though. Or soda. I guess you figure any trail magic three days old. Hi. Hello. <laughs> it's not our day today. Maybe later today. On this nice climb. She's been going uphill for maybe about 30 minutes now. 
Looks like it's gonna continue for a while. <laughs> Got a little spoiled with the flatter trails last couple of days. So back to the climbing. Gotta get my trail legs. I'm working on it. raining over there. Yeah, it's sprinkling here right now. We had some pretty good light rain earlier. It wasn't anything too heavy, but I did put my rain jacket on because I was getting kind of damp. But it's the first time I've had any rain while I was hiking. It's okay. It makes it smell good. As long as it's not pouring. Whew. I like this path. Here goes Starship. Oh boy. All right. Oof, my turn. I better put the phone away. Oh, that's a cool looking tree. That bark is just shredding off of it like skin. That's neat. This whole, uh, this whole part of the trail is full of these trees. So we're going to hike about another mile and then find a spot to uh, sit for lunch. Ooh, I can't wait to eat some weight out of my uh, pack. <laughs> A sausage that somebody gave to me which weighs weighs a ton and uh, I have an av avocado thanks to my friend Pat who brought that to me yesterday that was so sweet and she brought some other produce for me and I've been eating all that um, but yeah it does have weight to it so those are the things you typically eat out of your pack first so I'm looking forward to sausage avocado tortilla wrap and whatever else I decide to have. Ooh, peppermint mocha for dessert. That sounds awesome today. On this gloomy gray sort of day. It's still beautiful out here, but I'd rather have the sun out. So I wanted to talk to you about Warner Springs, if you're gonna be hiking through here. But uh, Warner Springs is a great place to stop and uh, camp over. They have a big yard at the uh, community center that they've provided for the uh, PCT hikers. Ouch, Ooh, that hurt. And uh, they, prov they allow you places to uh, recharge all your electronics. They have bucket showers with really hot water and they have uh, bucket laundry and they provide you with uh, uh, a bit of detergent to do that. There's lots of places to hang things around to dry. And all they ask is just for donations. Um, oh, they also have a, a resupply place now, a little resupply store. It's uh, it's very small. It's got the basics, but it'll definitely get you by in a pinch, but I wouldn't count on it for a full resupply from here to uh, Julian because it's a lot of just, um, you know, it's like mashed potatoes. And uh, I think they had, I can't remember if they even had tuna. I wasn't looking for tuna, so I don't remember if that was there, but they really didn't have like a lot of great uh, sort of breakfast and dinner sorts of things. So I would definitely uh, make sure that you send a resupply there. And it's a mile walk to the post office from there. And they have a nice easy access trail uh, that goes from the, uh, the yard where you set up your tent to the post office. So anyway, it's a great place to stop and uh, Take care of everything you need to and get a rest before the uh, 70 mile stretch to uh, Idlewild. Oh, it looks like it's just starting to come out. There it is. A little demon plant. 
Leaves of three, let it be. And obviously we're getting our water down there after lunch. So of all the things that could be bugging me on my body right now, the most painful thing that I have right now is, let me show you, my thumb. All right, we just came from that direction. We just crossed this stream. That was the most technical crossing I've done so far. But that was fun. It was fun because I didn't fall in. And then we're walking on this super soft sand. Ooh. Look at this creek, it's so cool. Everything through here is just this really soft sand. This would be a nice place to just come soak. If it weren't freezing cold. Actually, it's not that bad, but we did get a little chilled because we got damp from the uh, rain. It was just sprinkling on us and then the air has been pretty chilly, so we got a little cold at lunchtime, but now that we're moving again, we're fine. It's cool. So you can see that the Flood waters they come all the way up to here. Let's look at all the debris. That's crazy. This whole thing was just a raging river during all those rains earlier this winter. I guess this is the area that's full of our like little surprises today, but just interesting. Cute. And we saw a fern back there, which weird. I haven't seen a whole lot of ferns around here. I grew up in uh, Ithaca, New York, and of course we had tons of ferns out in the forest out there. I don't see them a whole lot out here. Oh, at least not in this Southern California. Look at that. That is insane. That's like a giant tree and tree bits and stuff just wedged in there. That is crazy that the floodwaters were that raging and that forceful through here. That's just mind blowing. Yeah, there sure was a lot of damage done to certain parts of uh, Southern California during all those rains, but that's crazy. Yeah, there's a bunch of like old trees and stuff down there too. Oh, nature is quite powerful at times. been hiking about two miles since our lunch spot and we an interesting trail up to this point. We've been hiking along this Agua Caliente Creek, which is flowing really strong right now. I don't know what it's like in a, a normal year, but it's really nice, but we had to do about five water crossings <laughs> just in the span of about one mile. And which I've never really done before, so it was good practice for me to get uh, prepared for much bigger creeks, creek crossings up the trail, I'm sure. But it was kind of fun, just something different, something technical to practice today. Ew, yuck. I'm still trying to keep my shoes somewhat clean, but I think it's futile. All right, let me get through this mess. Whew. 
I'm not gonna lie, this afternoon is gonna be challenging. <laughs> My legs are definitely feeling the burn, I'm tired. But we have about another three miles of all uphill climbing up these mountains. So we're just gonna keep going up and up and up in elevation, get to our tent site in about three miles, and then tomorrow morning we'll be going up about another thousand feet right out of camp. So, whew. PCT definitely hands it to you. Doesn't want to make it too easy for too long. You'll have flat areas and then you'll be humbled by miles of hills after that. But it's all good. Hopefully it's just building my strength and endurance and whatever, confidence, whatever it needs to before I get to the more technical areas such as the Sierras or places like that. So it's all good. It's tough, but it's good. And I wanted the challenge. See the sun shining on the hills over there. Our current view. Look how red the soil is. Okay, so we're just sitting here taking a, about a 15 minute break. We've been had a, ever since lunch, we've had like a lot of climbing and uh, it's been a little, little steep and a little hard and I'm not gonna lie, I'm tired today. So it's just, you know, it's one of those days where I just have to push a little harder and uh, mentally I feel good. I just feel like my body just wants to be done, but we're only going about uh, 11 miles today, so but we left uh, Warner Springs a little bit late, but it's been 11 miles of a lot of climbing hills and our packs are a little bit heavier as well. <sighs> I probably brought too much food with me, but that's typical. Someday I'll learn my lesson. Um, so we have about another little over a mile to get to the potential campsites that we wanna stay at. And it's supposed to be close to a water source. Like I think it's 0 0.02 off the trail to the water source that we need. So we'll be able to uh, position herself for that and get a good night's rest because tomorrow's gonna be a lot more uphill uh, as well. But it's all good, just tiring, that's all. Oh, all right, gotta keep pushing. So I wanted to show you where we're set up for camping tonight. Definitely have a room with a view. There's kind of some angry looking clouds rolling in over those hills over there, but I think they're more gonna be just like drizzle like they were earlier today and yesterday as well, but definitely cool and breezy up here, so better snuggle in and, and stay warm tonight. But let me show you around the campsite. Here is our campsite for the night. Look at the sun setting right over the tent. That's so cool. There's me. And there's a few other people over here. Starship, my hiking partner is... <laughs> she's in the duplex way at the end behind that man. But there's four of us up here tonight. Pretty cool. I'm hoping those clouds are just going to be 
probably just drizzle tonight. They're not calling for any crazy storms or anything, so I'm not going to worry too much about that, but it's pretty cool looking anyway. <laughs>